Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's John and get here back with another video. Today we are going to get into a Sephora and a Ulta haul. You already know for my girls out there. And so I'm going to be talking about my haul today. It's a very simple video, something that I wanted to do. Something that I wanted to do because I recently had a birthday and I wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I got from my haul. Let's get right into the video. Hopefully you can still hear me well uh, without my child's TV in the back. The very first thing that I like to do on my birthday every single year is go to Sephora and Ulta. And typically when I go to Sephora and Ulta, I will look for some of the deals that they have or the sales that they're running as well so that I can grab some things that I usually need to stock up on annually. Or maybe just some things that I recently ran out of and I needed to get more of. So when I went to Ulta, I'm going to have my Ulta bag here so that you can see. Um, when I went to Ulta, they gave me this really cute mascara gift for the birthday. Um, and it's by Lancome. Um, and it has Zendaya on the front, which love her. And then it just opens up into this really pretty brochure. Um, let's see if I can get closer. Then we have Zendaya there looking gorgeous per usual. Um, and then they gave me this mascara. It's called Idol Lash. Um, and so that one's really pretty. Um, haven't used it yet because I wanted to make sure that I was able to present it in this video before it got you know, in the rest of my makeup bags and all that other stuff. So this will probably be something that I travel with. I'm always needing a new mascara because I have very sensitive eyes. So typically I have to restock on it every three to six months anyway. So I think Ulta was having a sale or some type of deal where if you purchase, uh, if you purchase $20 worth of Ulta um, products, then you'll get a free bag. And so I was able to get a bag and the bag also has some really nice things in it. And so I usually do this every year. Well, I've really been doing it for the last two years and I've really been liking um, what they have in these bags. They fill it up with things that you're gonna actually use. And so um, I wanted to get it for this year and see if I would like things. And also just get a feel of Ulta's products as well to see if it's something that I wanna purchase instead of buying these higher end brands. Um, and so in order for me to get the $20 gift bag, I always, every time I go to Ulta, I always buy myself an eyebrow pencil because I'm constantly needing them to draw in my eyebrows because I have none. Without makeup, I have no eyebrows. But, and then I also got this pink tone um, lipstick from Ulta because I've been doing like a two-tone lipstick ombre. And so I like to put this pink in and I thought it would be a really nice summer, you know, summery lipstick. And what is it called? It doesn't have a name, it's just called 317. And so I got these two things so that I can get this. And this has a bunch of things in it, as you can probably see. Um, but I'll just go through it really quick of what it has so this video won't be forever. But basically it came with two eyeshadow um, palettes and they have four colors in each of the palettes. Okay, and then I got a lip gloss and it's like a really cute, pretty mild color. I have a tinted eye primer, so I'm gonna be trying that out. I got something similar to a beauty blender, but a blender sponge egg that is like marbleized, super cute. Um, I have a mascara, always great to have another one. Um, I got a poreless face primer by Ulta as well. And all of these are Ulta products, I think I already told you that. And then I got a really cute, small eyeshadow brush by Ulta. And so this will be really cute to put in my crease. Okay, next I got a huge 
So this doesn't look like a lot, but I got a lot of things from Ulta and all of it couldn't fit in this bag. Plus some, some of the products that I got, plus some of the products that I got were doubles. Like I bought more than one of them because I typically use them over and over and over again. So I decided to um, put those, put the doubles away. And I'm just gonna let you know what I got double of. So first and foremost, um, this product I've purchased probably, this is my fourth bottle of this. And this is the Ordinary Neosinamide 10% uh, plus Zinc 1%. And this stuff does, if you have an oily skin, if you're oily skin girl, then this is the one you want to get. This is the product that you want to get. This is a game changer. It, for whatever reason, when I wear it, before I put on my makeup for the day, it will absorb the oil production to be less and my skin won't get as oily and I, it's natural. Neosinamide has so many benefits um, and it also works on your blemishes as well. So it's supposed to regulate sebum and minimize your pores. And I believe that it does just that for me, which is why I'm on my fourth bottle. If you wanna try anything ordinary, ordinary is extremely inexpensive. And so I definitely would just recommend you just trying it, just jumping out there and seeing if you like it. If you have oily skin, this Neosinamide is a great product to try. I believe that it also will work for men too if you have oily skin and you want to regulate your sebum in your skin. And so try it guys, this is my fourth bottle. <laughs> I do not talk about products that I do not like. I buy the same thing over and over. So if y'all wanna try that, try that. Okay, and so this was something that I got as a sample, I think from Target, maybe not Target. Maybe a sample from Sephora, the last time I ordered something there. But this is the Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask by Youth to the People. Um, this is a overnight mask um, and I like to put this so I got a sample of this and it was just so good and so moisturizing and I felt so luxurious that I just decided, let me just buy, and this is not even the biggest one. This one, this little one was $18. So this is more on the expensive side, but it just, I love the way it made my skin feel. My skin feels so moisturized and my skin completely absorbed all of that moisture overnight when I was sleeping and I just love the feeling. So I decided to give me one of these it's the Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. So the next thing I got was this Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick. I've heard so many reviews about Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, and I also watched a bunch of YouTube videos to try to get swatches to see how this would look on my skin. Um, but I got the Ashton color and this was showing up really pretty on my skin when I went to um, Sephora. I tried it on as a sample and I really loved it. So she was 20. Okay, so this, this you guys, I picked up yesterday when I went to Sephora. Um, this is, so this is my more recent purchase and I was going there to get matched for a foundation and I ended up getting the NARS soft matte and I haven't got it yet because I had to order it online because they didn't have it in the store. So um, this is the soft matte concealer. And I told the lady in Sephora that I was looking for something similar to the MAC um, concealer. Now this was a little bit more expensive. When I say a little bit more expensive, like double and a half more expensive um, than the MAC concealer. If you wear MAC concealer, I would use the MAC concealer for my everyday look. And so I don't have to put on a full face of makeup. So I'm gonna be transitioning this instead just to see how I like it because if you put it on my skin, at the store I just instantly fell in love and so I was like I gotta try this because even my matte concealer didn't feel it just didn't it didn't seem like it would show up like it did yesterday so I'm giving this a try um, this is the shade Monday 1282 it's medium dark three and so NARS kind of got me in a chokehold right now because I got their foundation and their concealer and this is my second or third time ordering NARS as a foundation. So I went there trying to see if I was gonna find something else and I didn't, so we're here. Okay, so this was something I got, it was a lippy and it was in the color Spice because I wanted to try a, like a dark lippy. Um, it's like a really brown reddish tone and I'll show it to you guys. Um, but this is just something to try 
I liked how it came up on my skin when I tried it out at the Sephora. So we'll see about this one. But this is a lippy. I'm, I'm really into lip, lip colors and stuff like that. So that's what I got. And then when I made a purchase online, I got these two as a sample. And my birthday gift, y'all, I already started using that. So I'll show that later. <laughs> but I got this by Sephora. It's a prebiotic and nourishing moisturizer. Um, and this is just something that I can put on my skin at night. Um, so I can be moisturized overnight because my skin tends to get dry during that time. And then this is another moisturizer or cream. It's the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream. Hyaluronic Cream. Hyaluronic Cream. And um, like I said, these are more so for overnight. Look at me dropping stuff. But yeah, these are more so for overnight. These are more so for overnight. And so these are two creams that I got for samples and I'll be trying these out. Never tried these before. So pretty much that is all I have for you with the haul. So I hope you enjoyed it seeing what I got from Sephora and Ulta. So if you are looking for any of the products that I mentioned today, I will put them down in the description box so that you can grab those or you can take a look at them if you want. Um, but see you guys in the next video. Peace.